Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday. Happy Venus Day. Also, happy new moon in Cancer. All right. I already have some decks picked out by Spirit, so we can just get started. Also, I have a Sagittarius stellium. My uh, moon, my Venus, my MC, and Neptune are all in Sagittarius. Also, Sagittarius... Uh, Saturn is retrograde and Neptune just went retrograde. So uh, we're in the middle of a major shift right now. So let's see what's going on with your love life. I'm um, split the deck. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. I already said my prayer so we can actually just get started. Thank you so much, family, for liking, sharing, and subscribing, for donating to the channel, for sending decks, and for scheduling personal readings with me. The information to that will be in the description box below on my website. All right, let's get started. What is the message for Sagittarius when it comes to love, romantic love? We have attraction here at the bottom of the deck. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, by enjoying your life fully, by being in the present moment when you're not looking, when you're not seeking, when you're not looking. So you're very attractive right now. You could be in the law of attraction energy, um, a magnet attracting it all in. We have unrequited love. One more for Sagittarius. Okay. And then we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Now, you could be at a state of indecision when it comes to love. Okay. Um, I it, it does feel like, okay, calling in your soulmate, focusing on your career and finances. It does feel like... Um, it, it's clear what you don't want, okay, with this unrequited love, right? It feels like that, you know, with the attraction energy, right? You could just be in this happily single kind of energy, you know, and it feels like um, I'm getting a vibe that you, what is clear here is what you what's clear for you is what you don't want for yourself, right? It feels like you're, you're clear on what you want and what you don't want. And you're saying, no, thank you to everyone that is, because you're a magnet, you're attracting people in to everyone that isn't reciprocating, isn't putting in the effort, isn't in alignment with what your vision is for yourself, with your standards, with your requirements, you know, and, um, and I feel like at this time, you are getting pretty clear based on, you know, options that have come your way that is just not a fit, not doesn't align with your morals, values, integrity, code of conduct and vision that you have for yourself at this time. Okay. And um, sometimes even if there is passion, attraction and chemistry, that's not enough, right? To keep something going. Okay. Um, emotional you know, effort, time, energy, effort invested and emotional connection, emotional intimacy, all of that is important for you at this time. You are calling, you're not settling for less. You are calling in the right fit for you with your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations to help you bring you together. It just feels like you're not settling here um, with this unrequited love, okay? You're not, this person is kissing this someone's hands, this man is kissing this woman's hands and she's not impressed. She's not impressed. So let's see what else for Sagittarius. Yeah, you're being very patient with divine timing at this time. Look, crossroads energy here. Um, perfect timing. You're, you're in this law of attraction energy, enjoying your life fully, not forcing anything, not chasing after anything and waiting, right, for the divine time. We got travel here. Some of you guys could be planning vacation, could be planning to travel. All right. Ah, my head just started to hurt on the right side. What what is the energy here? The message for Sagittarius for love. Last last shuffle here. What is the message for Sagittarius for love? Finance. You could be working on focusing on your success on your finances, on your material, which we saw that here. That could be your main priority right now. That's probably why you're not really focused on love, even though low-key beneath the surface here, you're just, 
you know, waiting for the right one, the right opportunity to come in. What else here for Sagittarius? Okay, that one at a, the truth. And then we have storm warning and date. Courting, dating, anniversary, meet up, romantic feelings. Okay, so looks to me like the universe is about to bring in the soulmate you're calling in here, okay? <laughs> and it might happen fast. There is an upheaval here um, when you least expect it, okay? That's because you have been really good at saying no thank you to what isn't for you. Every time you close the door, another one opens, okay? So, and because you're in this beautiful law of attraction energy, you're standing on truth, as well, I'm getting that. You're standing on in your own truth. You're seeing things clearly, okay? But I'm also getting here that um, you, you're standing in your integrity and following, you know, uh, what is authentically what is true to you, okay? We have the storm warning here. So um, this, it feels like this storm is coming in to remove any kind of obstacles that's in your way, Um to, you know, manifesting here the love that you have been praying about, affirming and visualizing here, okay? And it feels like when this comes in, you're going to have a decision to make. Um, so somebody wants to ask you out on a date. They want to start courting you here. It's probably going to happen very suddenly. All right. Clarified finances. For Sagittarius. Clarify finances. The truth is getting ready to be revealed. Somebody may somebody may be coming in ready to confess something to you. And let's see if you have somebody in your energy. Spirit, um, finances, clarify finances for Sagittarius. There's a decision that you're making at this time. There could be some kind of, of a, of a resurrection, a rebirth or a new beginning when it comes to your major judgment call you're making when it comes to your work, major decision time. It feels like it's like stand in the light of truth here. It, when it comes to your purpose, you know, um, following whatever lights you up is where it's at. What making a decision that le that moves you closer to your divine life purpose? Um, there's a call answering the call with judgment here. There's a major surrender, okay, um, and release. Something could be returning from the past when it comes to your work for you to look at and revisit, especially with these retrogrades coming in. Um, Tell me about making a major decision here, a major judgment call. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a major change when it comes to your finances. Follow your intuition, the High Priestess. There's a major change here, um, uh, a turning point. So your luck is turning around when it comes to your finances. You made what, whatever decision you made when it comes to your work, that's uh, was the best decision for you. Um, was the best decision. Okay. You made a really good decision when it comes to your work and finances, or you are in the process of making that decision, which is going to, it's like, it feels like coming out of a comfort zone, which is going to change everything for you here. The wheel of fortune is saying expansion, good luck, good fortune coming your way. There's going to be a turnaround in your career and your finances. So it looks like your luck is turning around. We have already three major arcanas. This is the four fixed signs, but this is also Jupiter, which is your ruling planet. And Jupiter is all about bigger picture thinking and expansion and optimism. Okay, so stay positive when it comes. If you're having any kind of money problems, uh, stay positive. I feel like the universe is getting ready to bless you here, okay, with a, with a really beautiful opportunity that's destined and faded for you. Destiny is uh, is turning in your favor. We have 10, 10, 10. You could be seeing those numbers. Uh, truth, clarify truth for love. We have the nine of swords for truth. One more. 
Somebody could be having some anxiety about expressing something to you or, or you. Feel free to reverse the roles. And uh, somebody could be having anxiety about coming forward. Could be, you know, having some sleepless nights. This card also represents suffering and silence. There could be somebody that wants to express some, some kind of a reveal, some kind of a secret. And it's going to create a storm here in your life. Learning about this secret. It's an upheaval. We have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, it could be something to do with somebody here. Um, that the re oh, okay, what I'm getting here, that the reason why something isn't manifesting or it's unrequited is because this person, that could be what's being revealed. This person here could be stuck in some kind of karmic situation that they are trying to get out of. We have the five of cups. There's depression and sadness. That's why there's some, you know, boundaries up. This person could be facing some kind of challenge and opposition in their life or you. Okay. It could be financial as well. Financial obligation. Um, but things are changing here. Okay. In this person's life, our finances are directly connected to our love because it's, it's connected to abundance. Okay. So if we have an abundance wound, it um, it's a heart chakra imbalance as well. So you got somebody here that is very stressed out about, um, you know, I, I, I heard wanting to come towards you, wanting to be with you, but they're, they're you know, kind of stuck in a situation here, but that's changing. Stuck in a situation here because of money, it looks like. But that's destiny. I'm getting intervention and destiny is turning around to help this you and this person out to come together. I feel like that could be what this indecision is, kind of crossroads energy. You know, not knowing whether or not, you know, you should... Walk away from this if this is ever going to happen or not. If you really want this, it's like a head and heart, not in the same, not on the same page. So you may have already learned this truth that this person is, you know, stuck in another situation. Clarify the nine of swords and that's why it's unrequited. Yeah, a lot of uh, illusion and confusion. A lot of up emotional upheaval here. And it could be this masculine energy that's in this energy here of procrastination and confusion. Needing to, you know, make a decision here. Make a decision. Choose wisely. A lot of emotions could be coming up for this person and they're just not knowing how to handle it. I, I, I'm getting a lot of, my right leg is shaking. I'm getting a lot of anxiety in the energy right now. And it's calling in a tower moment. That's what this storm warning here is about. Because whatever this person here or you is thinking about in this nine of swords energy is sending a signal out to the universe. Okay. Um, a message out to the universe. And the universe is going to respond with this tower to this person's requests, to this person's prayers. Um there's a lot of visual visualizing and daydreaming, a lot of intrusive thoughts. I heard panic attacks. It, I'm, I'm getting that this person could be feeling some kind of divine pressure and not knowing, you know, how they're going to. It's like they're, they're exploring all of their these different cups, these different options on how to reveal something to you. Okay. I'm getting, should I say it this way? This overthinking it, thinking about the what ifs, self, a lot of self doubt as well. Thinking about all the what ifs, okay, and uh, fears, fears, a lot of fears regarding ex confession, this confession. I'm also getting here that. If you are the one in this nine of swords energy and seven of cups energy, you're getting ready to get some clarity. Rose colored glasses are coming off. Neptune is retrograde. There's a major powerful change that's taking place. And, it, and with this judgment card, it could be a return, a second chance. 
from the past, a new a, a, a cycle here that is coming back around. And it feels like, you know, we have two cards of karma. This was karmically meant to come back around, destined and fated to come back around. So somebody just needs to ground their energy, ground their, um, you know, take control of their thoughts here. And, and, you know, honor their emotions, all of the feelings, even the difficult ones has a message for you. It feels like the answers that you're seeking are coming to you. Can I have one on storm warning? Four of pentacles. So yeah, it's going to be important that we let go. Okay. Uh, whenever we get the tower that we don't cling on and attach to, to, you know, everything here. Okay. Because this, this storm is coming in to free you, to put you in a different direction, to put you towards your, your destined path when it comes to love. This storm is coming to help you out, okay? It's for you, not to you. So we have four of pentacles, which is clinging, attachment, holding on, lack consciousness, scarcity consciousness. You know, it's also... Uh, Whatever it is that we're we're holding on to here, okay, extremes and how you spend money as well, save and spend money. It it is you know um, there's some fear here of loss. Tell me about storm warning one more time. Wrecking ball, drama, very guarded energy as well. Tell me about storm warning, the higher fund. It's somebody's belief systems I'm getting. And I'm also getting somebody loyal, heart, the very devoted. Somebody here is very devoted. And um, it, it's important right now that you, you know, rely on your faith, okay? When it comes to this, our uh, Taurus energy, we have ma a lot of masculine energy showing up here. So this may be somebody in your energy if you're not a masculine or you could be in your masculine energy because whoever's the one that's overthinking is in masculine energy. So somebody here is that's very stubborn and very rigid and very controlling is getting a storm in their life. And so it's important that we're flexible right now. And adaptable to these changes that are coming in. The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is a major, especially when right under finances, it's a major change in your work life, in your relationship, or your home life, or all of the above. Tell me about somebody's holding back from you also because they're going through some kind of drama or upheaval in their life. It could be in a relationship that they're in. Clarify the higher font. Ace of pentacles here. Then I say that the tower's coming in to, look, justice. There, so, so there's somebody here in your life that is in the process. So justice is being handled. Karmic justice is being, we have three cards of karma now. Karm karmic justice is being handed out, okay? Um, and karmic contracts are closing out, especially with uh, Saturn being retrograde right now. It was already a thing before, and now it's even more so. Karma is balancing out. Somebody's becoming single, okay? Um, yeah, there there's the tower here. So somebody's becoming single. So there's going to be some kind of sudden offer that's going to come to you for stability here, for security. For some of you guys, it could be a new job. And But this is a love reading. So somebody's coming in to offer you a commitment. And that's what they're stressed out about. Okay? They're coming. So, so someone has come out of something or is coming out of something, some kind of karmic tie that they were in. And they're coming in here. Somebody they can't let you go. They're, I'm getting, I got some devotion here, okay? A lot of devotion towards you. Coming in to offer you the, the Ace of Pentacles with the higher fun is an offer of commitment and stability and security, especially with the Four of Pentacles here. So it's like this. It's like, it feels like somebody wants to come and build or rebuild, okay? 
And that's what they're nervous and scared about. <laughs> they want to, they're probably going to, it's probably a proposal or, or an offer, a love offer. They're going to ask you out on a date. Look, it's so interesting. It's like there's man is kissing this woman's hand here. And there's man is kissing this woman's hand here. So it feels like somebody wants to make up for something here. They want to show you. They want how much they, they, they care about you or how serious they are. That it's not unrequited. They want to show you. They want to balance out the scale and, and, and do right by you. Make things right here. By offering you something more solid, more stable. Okay. I'm being guided to this deck. So they're not, this is somebody that's not letting you go, but they have been, you know, holding back a little bit, but they want to rebuild the foundation after, after you experience this. This may be an upheaval in your life, right? Going from being single, we saw that law of attraction energy, and you're going to need to have to make a decision. You called this in, by the way, um, to, to all of a sudden being in a relationship. This person wants to court you for marriage. You may be the one that's a little guarded here. Tell me, but it feels like you're in this energy of wanting the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You don't know if you can trust it. So let this person show you and build the trust from the bottom up. This is somebody that you have, could be Gemini here. This is somebody that you have a strong soulmate divine connection with and this is a card of decision and choice clarify the four pentacles the chariot cancer energy cancer season to i'm doing this reading cancer new moon so yeah this is a movement forward overcoming the obstacles this is a solid offer coming in they want to court you for marriage they want to court you for a relationship and this is a sudden major change in your life, okay, for the better, for the better. Okay, this is somebody that's not letting you go. They're very focused on you, very determined, and they 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 are not, you know, budging when it comes to, as I heard not taking no for an answer. That's an offer you can't refuse. I'm not budging when it comes to this, focused on this, to this victory and success. Whatever upheaval, whatever drama, whatever stuff you guys have experienced, you guys are going to be overcoming it with this chariot. Chariot is the universe. They want to come over and take you out, ask you out on a date. Yeah, this is somebody that has some regrets, some shame, some guilt, some regrets, remorse of the past. Um, Nine of swords, king of pen. So it's a masculine energy that's feeling stressed out. King of Pentacles, okay? Um, because, yeah, they want to, now they want to compromise. Now they want to build. They want to work together, partner up, partnerships and alliances here, okay? So they're trying to figure out how they're going to do this. How is my approach going to be? Which, which, you know, which one of these cups is going to be the best course of action for me? Overthinking it, right? They could have um, a change in their career and their finances. So now they have something to offer you, it's looking like. You called this in. Seven of Cups. So open up to receive four of Pentacles. Uh, seven of Cups. Yeah, they need to quiet their mind. Quiet their thoughts so that they can come up with a, you know, a solid plan and not procrastinate. This person has been healing as well. They, this is somebody that has retreated from you, okay? To reflect, to pray, to meditate. They're quieting their mind so that they can figure out what's their next step here. Which one of these uh, cups? There's a lot of daydreaming and fantasizing and planning, and this person just wants to reveal how they feel about you. Yeah, this person has been healing from some kind of heartbreak that they experienced in their life. Their heart's been cracked open. There could have been, of course, I got that earlier, third party, another situation that this person is coming out of. 
There's another situation that this person is healing from here. That's why this divine timing card is here. But this is definitely a return, a second chance with the judgment. Okay? It feels like, you know, um, if you allow it and you open up to it, 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 let me, can I have one on this date, courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup? Yeah, it's a, the public going out in the, uh, um, going out in the, why do I keep going out in the public here? Going public. That's it. Going public. Okay. Um, this is somebody that has you kind of sort of on a pedestal. They want to give you a lot of attention. They want attention from you right back. Okay. This is Jupiter and Leo here. Um, there's a recognition here, okay? A recognition, success, and victory. If you do say yes to this date, is gonna. This could even be some kind of proposal for some of you guys. All right, I want to get some information on this, and then we have there you are at the bottom of the deck. There's an opportunity to move to karma waters here after a period of closing out this painful cycle where we finally learned the lessons so we can move forward. This could be them. Like I said, they're coming out of something. Spirit, um, tell us about this king of pentacles for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. King of pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. The fight. They're getting ready to fight for you. Their inner warriors being activated. That's, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. The warrior card here. The fight. Yeah, they're coming out of uh, having a lot of toxicity in their life. Can I have one? So this person is coming in solid and stable. The king, the king of Pentacles, the the 3D king, right? That's noble and loyal and hard worker and successful, nurturing, sensual, grounded. But the thing is, it's like when it comes to love, this person, they're very good when it comes to work and finances and career and um, the material world, material things. Even this person cares a lot about what people think. They can be a little superficial, you know, but... Um, a lot of pentacles here, which is telling me that this is very close to grounding in the 3D. If this is some somebody that is somebody you have a, a, a definite strong spiritual connection with, this person worries a lot. They're, they they can get into their heads a lot. Yeah, you've been on a very long journey with this person. Very long, and it's like divine timing is finally here. Can I have, um, maybe this person just needed time to heal and work on themselves and rebuild their own, after whatever loss they experienced, rebuild their own solid foundation. The passion and desire and the attraction is still here. Can I have one more on this King of Pentacles or Sagittarius? Love is a fire. You set their soul on, what does that say? You set their soul, their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. A flame has been lit here. Passion has been ignited. Okay. And it created a lot of change in this person's life. Marriage. Unexpected. The answers you seek are coming. Didn't I say you're about to get answers soon here regarding this connection? You're about to get clarity on it. I said that earlier, that the answers are coming. But when it arrives, it might be too late or you may have moved on. That's their fear. But they 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 are coming out of something. But, it, but I'm getting here that they do want to marry you. Look at that. They see you as marriage material. We have the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. They want to court you for marriage. Someone that inspires them to create a to create a strong foundation for marriage. That's what they're doing here with the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. They're working on their foundation. Uh, they want to create a strong foundation to be ready to offer you something more solid. This is very clear. 
So they're they're coming into court you for marriage. I want to pull um guidance from uh the lovers the lovers path or no the lovers oracle, not the lovers path. What is the guidance for Sagittarius when it comes to this um King of Pentacles, this love story? It was unrequited before, okay? And uh, it's 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 like this. The second that you get clear with the universe on what you want and don't want, I feel like, again, as I said earlier, you're saying no thank you to everyone that's not moving towards marriage. Because that's your vision. I'm getting here. You know exactly what you don't want. And you don't want fire pony energy, even though this is your energy. It feels like you learned from dealing with these kinds of people that are just... Uh, uh, codependent chasing you lusting after you you've learned some very valuable lessons from the past six of cups you matured a lot grown a lot you know um and now you're ready for more right you're ready for something more solid something more stable what's the guidance for sagittarius here when it comes to this love story and think about getting ready to change. Things are getting ready to change. Sacred union at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this could be you that's stressed out. You could be this masculine here, okay? Energy. Or, or you could be a cross watcher watching for a Sagittarius that's a masculine. Because I'm getting, imagine, all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life or you could be a feminine that's working on releasing any kind of negative thinking and transmuting the energy coming out of that rabbit hole okay uh so focusing your then i say taking control of your thoughts and shifting it and focusing it on what you do want versus what you don't want think positive thoughts your thoughts are creating your reality we have you're trying too hard. Give it time. This is masculine energy. That's why I felt like I could be talking to somebody that's either a, a woman that's in their masculine energy or I'm talking about a, a masculine Sagittarius or, um, or I'm picking up on the energy of the masculine here that's in your energy, okay? But it could also be you, a feminine energy that is uh, trying to control things, overthink, stress out, uh, attach, you know, um, em emotions here, right? Coming up, thoughts, because I got another message here that says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your, so some negative thoughts could be coming up. You can allow joy into your life, no matter what the regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So whatever circumstances you're in, there could be some money worries. Whatever situation you find yourself in right now, close your eyes, take a deep breath. I felt some anxiety in the energy and center yourself, go spend time in nature, ground your energy, listen to some affirmations, some binaural beats, Met go into meditation, okay? Call in the angels, pray, so if you're the one here that is, you know, having some worries, having some stress regarding your finances or anything like that, um, release that, okay? You're getting ready to come into some uh, sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. I'm going to use the moonology. It's the new moon today. So I have a Sagittarius stellium, like I said. So I'm very saggy, even though I'm an Aquarius. So release your fears here, okay, my loves? If that's if this is you. Um, but again, if you're not feeling any kind of anxiety or any kind of fear, then I'm definitely talking about this person here in your energy that is feeling nervous about, you know, approaching you here, right, with this offer. Just a win-win outcome is in the forecast for you, okay? This is karma, justice. And we saw that. We saw the justice card. So I'm going to keep that. What is the message for Sagittarius? For just in general, spirit. What is the message? The answers you seek are come. You need are coming. I said that. We said that we have that twice. The answers are coming. You have been on a very long journey with this person. But the answers are arriving for you. 
unexpected, okay? The answers you seek are coming. But again, that's the worried here with, of this person is whether or not they're too late. And you're going to have a win-win. But when it comes to your finances and career, or even this love, four of pentacles, you're being guided to step out of your comfort zone. So, and not overthink anything here, right? I'm going to leave it right here. Let me know in the comments below how this is resonating for you. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and showing our channel here some support so that the message can reach more people. I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you and namaste. Till next time.